So I'm standing here in the uh, beautiful Tuscan landscape with Takis, uh, founder of Inoforos, uh, and maybe Sweden's most successful wine entrepreneur. You come from Greece. How ha have you become Sweden's most successful wine entrepreneur? Uh, yeah, um, for to make a very long story short, <laughs> um, is. Um, I came into the wine business for a long time ago. Uh, introduced by um, a friend, uh, I mean, a friend now, at that time, my boss, um, a Greek, uh, very successful and uh, wine entrepreneur, uh, and uh, moved to Sweden to market his wines. Yeah. Moved, moved to Scandinavia, actually. So I marketed his wines there for some years, and after I found my own company, uh, starting uh, in, importing and trade wine, you can say, mo mostly expensive. Uh, um, expensive uh, stuff from uh, classic regions like Bordeaux, uh, Bourgogne, uh, Italy, Tuscany, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. Piemont. Uh, and uh, by the time uh, being, I was, I'm very interested in how how the wine is made. So I still learn. So um, I, I learn how to make wine. You can say. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then uh, I was like to make uh, bigger brands. Uh, uh, focus to uh, vol value for money, you can say. So I was missing um, value for money wines. So I started making them with my idea. This uh, had been a successful business, and uh, the company grows have grown a lot uh, since yeah. that time, since uh, '95, you can say '97. I start, and uh, today we, we produce 30 million bottles, yeah. ferment them around the world. Uh, Salem, uh, our biggest market was uh, Sweden and Scandi mainly Scandinavia. So, uh, when I ferme have fermentations in South Africa, then uh, Argentina, then uh, uh, Australia, then Italy, then uh, uh, France, etc., etc. So, I, I, I had to, uh, to make the logistics uh, easier. And uh, of course, to think that the company has to be more environmentally more 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 modern, right? You're saying. Okay. So, uh, so uh, I thought instead for to uh, bottle it in one place out of uh, somewhere else, uh, for example, France or Italy, or Italy, and then bring the the, the South African wine or the uh, Argentinian wine or the Australian wine or the French wine in Italy, and then re-export it to Sweden. So. The most, uh, uh, the most uh, logical, uh, it was uh, to bottle it close to your market. So, which led to your other crazy idea, which yes. was building a winery in Sweden. Yes. So, so I, I built a winery in Sweden, and um, it's a winery that um, have um, not fermentations. Uh, the new world wines, all, all the treatments and the fermentation the treatments we do at there mm -hmm. uh, in South Africa or in Australia, and uh, we just bottle the wine, mm -hmm. uh, stabilize, of course, the protein stabilize the product and uh, and bottle it in Sweden. Mm -hmm. But the European um, wine, uh, who have the um, uh, the EGP, you can say yeah. the, um, mm -hmm. the 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 um, we call it the regional wine, like a Sicilian wine or a, or yeah. a, or yeah. a Puglian or, or Languedoc or so on. Uh, we have the right to make the same treatment uh, because sure. we are in the European Union. Mm -hmm. uh, so we barrel age it and uh, we blend it and uh, yeah, we make uh, the, fi the final treatment in Sweden. Mm -hmm. So it is... Uh, so you're very close to your main customer. Yes. You, you have all the logistics in all place. All the logistics there, and uh, the people they have always fresh wine because this wine we produce there, we pack there, uh, is a wine for to be con consumed in uh, one two years time. So, so I guess that also gives you the possibility to uh, customize yes. the the wine better to to the specific customer tastes because you have every all the elements in place yes. and you can play with it yourself so to speak yes uh, um, yes we can we can design you can say the the the, 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 the wine but uh, 
Uh, I think we start designing this from the fermentation because after it's a limit uh, th things that you can do to the wine. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so it's better to decide what you want to do from the beginning. Mm. Otherwise, after it will be difficult. Yeah. yeah. So, but of course we we can uh, in combination with the um, satellite wineries we have around the world. So we prepare, you can say, the main the main juice uh, after the fermentation mm. and uh, what we send to Sweden we know already what we will receive mm. so it is uh, the difference from us uh, with the other companies that they make volume brands mm. we don't buy bulk mm. uh, we have make the ferment uh, we ferment the 90 percent of uh, what we produce and 10 percent we have a people that uh, they do it for us mm. uh, so year after year after year so uh, Bulk market uh, is not interesting for me. So, um, uh, looking ag again at the, the Swedish market and your uh, position on the Swedish market, w what is the one or two things that has made your uh, business so fantastically successful mm. uh, compared to everyone else? Because you have hundreds of wine importers yes. and wine sellers. Yes. What, what's, what, what's your uh, I think, difference? I think what uh, have made us successful is um, uh, first, of course, the, um, uh, the, the the quality and the price. I mm. mean, we have very good quality for that price we ask for. Uh, so, uh, and uh, after is the um, that continuously we have the same quality. Mm. So we don't have uh, because we do this thing from the beginning. Mm. And uh, if we make good logistics, we know how how much wine we need every year. Mm. So, and uh, if we succeed with that, uh, we have the same quality. Mm. So. We don't have up and downs. Mm. So, uh, for to big build brands and to be successful, you have to give to your customer the same quality all the time. Mm. Uh, doesn't matter now what kind of quality. The important is that you have uh, stability on the quality, not consistency and, and uh, reliability. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Uh, it's what uh, is a big problem of the wine. Mm. Uh, not uh, uh, you see the, the, in the beverage business, uh, alcoholic beverage business, the, the the most you can say unstable product is the wine, it's a, because it's a natural product from mm. vintage to vintage. No, mm. uh, not the vintages are different, are not mm. the same. But the consumer have a difficulty to understand that because you want something that you like today, you won't like it to have it like that every time, mm. <laughs> which is difficult with the wine. So for us, uh, at, at least we can every year have consistency yeah. into, uh, into the year. Yeah. And we try to imitate this with the year after. Of course, we are depending on the weather, but uh, we, do, uh, we, do, we, uh, we limit the, the, the gaps, you can say, sure. by do yeah. from the beginning ourselves everything. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yo, thank thank you. you very much. Thank you.